Okay, so I thought I would talk about is the oil lines on this. Just a layout of oil lines on a motor. Now, this particular motor is a little bit more high performance than your normal streetcar motor, but it's going to make 250 just all day long idea. Okay, so we're, we're picking up our oil from the sump, going into the pump. Um, the idea here is under extreme G-force of like taking off or if you're doing a wheelie or sand rails, drag cars, as the oil sloshes back this way anyways, and it just picks up for the pump. But we're going to come out of the pump, go over here to the bypass. Now this is running bypass oil control, so there's actually a regulating pressure externally and not internally in the case. So uh, this is your inlet, this is your back or outlet of the filter, and this is your bypass. So here is your inlet coming in from the pump, it goes out of the pump, that's this guy here, and goes up and over above the shock you'll see there, and then drops down and then comes into the cooler. So I have the cooler sitting right here underneath the torsion housing. It's uh, not wired up yet, but it's just sitting there. Okay, so it then comes out of the cooler as you can see here, now this one's already got the little uh, heat shielding on it to protect it from the, the air coming down from the uh, uh, hot air coming off the heads and cylinders. Uh, and then goes back into the case. Now when it goes into the case, sorry, there's a little connector there. When it goes into the case, makes a 180, it goes into what I call straight shot. So basically it's a straight shot down the main galley. A normal full flow port is a pure return. Sorry, my phone's blurry. Uh, is up here. So this way the oil, since this motor's not running a top cooler, uh, this way the oil doesn't have to come in, make a 90, come down, make a 90, and then go in. It just goes straight down the main galley, uh, typically for RPM applications and stuff like that. But um, the other one off the filter mount is the bypass. So this one's coming off the filter, uh, bypass, basically. And this is uh, overflow or, or uh, after it's regulated pressure, this is the extra. And then comes down, makes a loop, and just goes right back into the sump. And that's where it just bleeds off the excess. Now, I'm going to be putting heat shielding on this guy here. Uh, this heat shielding here actually goes further out. As you can see, it, I haven't attached it. There's a way to wrap this so it makes it all snug where it's at. But uh, I'm going to put heat shielding on this one. And then on this guy here, we're going to put some heat shielding on it. I'm not concerned about this guy over here. I'm not concerned about this short distance here. This is all areas where there's not as much heat going on. All right. Well, there you go. There's oiling. Okay. Oh, if you're wondering, this is uh, the drain for the turbo. It's going to have a little 90 going here. And the turbo sitting up right about here, basically. Okay. Have fun, everybody.